Looking for a real estate strategy with stable returns? Tax lien investing might just be the answer. Let's start out and learn about tax lien certificates and see how they work. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us. This is Ted Thomas, the Tax Lien Certificate and Tax Lien Authority. And he's going to be talking about these tax liens or real estate. What's the best thing for you? So, Ted, can you start by explaining what's the difference between tax lien investing and other common, you know, real real estate investing uh, techniques like buying rental properties or flipping? What? Why tax lien investing? Well, there's a big difference between tax lien certificates and fix and flips real estate. That's for sure. So tax lien certificates are really considered a passive investment. These certificates are purchased at public auctions and the investment actually pays someone else's taxes. Now it's a secure investment. So that's a small word with a very big meaning. Tax lien certificates have the security. When you buy that certificate, you have the security of knowing that you have the first priority lien on that property and you'll always be paid first. So a tax lien certificate owner gets paid or they are awarded the property. So the property cannot be sold or transferred or changed ownership without paying the tax, which suddenly means without paying the tax lien certificate, the property is gonna to go to the tax lien certificate owner. Compare that with rental properties, which have a whole bunch of risk. For example, what if the tenant doesn't pay that? What if the tenant damages the property? Well, if they f fail to pay their rent, what are you gonna do then? If they're a holdover and they won't leave, you're going to have to hire an attorney. That means the attorney is going to demand the rent and they're probably going to have to evict them. That's a, that could be a court process. You're going to have to pay the attorney and you're going to have to pay the court process. So eviction involves the sheriff, involves court fees. In other words, the return on investment is dropping because you have so many expenses with fix and flip. OK, so fix and flip is not a secure business like tax lien certificates. As a matter of fact, who knows how much it costs to fix one of these properties? What if you have to repair a kitchen or replace it? What about roof leaks? What about outside maintenance? What about landscaping? What about if you had to put concrete driveway in? All these cost a lot of money. So fix and flip is not the business everybody think it is. You need to have money. What about violations of county restrictions and, and business ordinances? Well, the point is cost overruns can make the deal very unprofitable very quick. My point is fix and flip is not so easy, it's not so cheap, and it's high risk, that's for sure. So that's not all. When you finish the fix and flip, what are you gonna do with that property? You understand how to market it? Are you just gonna call a broker and hope that works out? Or are both of you gonna sell it? My experience reveals it costs about 10% of the property value just to sell that property. Okay, now there's other bidders. What if they're bidding? What if they're overbidding or underbidding? That could be a big problem for you. So you gotta think about that. So. Tax lien certificates are a passive investment. Well, let me ask you, in terms of the return on investment on a tax lien investing, how does that compare? How does that return on investment compare to other investment methods, Ted? Well, tax lien certificates pay different rates of return. Depends upon which state and which county you're buying in. For example, Florida allows auctions to take place on certificates. They do all that in the months of May and June. Florida pays all the way up to 18% on a tax lien certificate. Now the auction, doesn't go up, up, up. They actually, the auction goes down. It's a reverse auction. In other words, the bidding of the interest rate is from 18% down. Lowest bidder gets it at the auction. All right, now the lowest bidder will get the tax certificate. If the people bid it down below 5%, well, how are you gonna make money if you're getting less than 5%? Remember, in a non-competitive uh, auction, you can make all the way up to 18%, but if there's a lot of competitors and they're bidding, they're gonna bid it down way below the 18%. All right, now let's talk about risk management. How does tax lien investing compare to those other real estate uh, investment options out there in terms of risk? I like to tell people tax lien certificates are the safest investment in America. The reason for that is you invest with the government, you're gonna get your check back from the government. That means it's okay to send your grandfather or your grandmother to buy tax lien certificate because they're gonna purchase directly from the county and they're gonna get a certificate back proving that they spend their money. So a tax lien certificate once they understand to look at the neighborhood and make sure that's okay, and they understand to look at the property and make sure that's okay, well, what I'm saying is they lower the risk. However, 
tax lien certificates are like everything else. You have to do your due diligence. It's not difficult to check neighborhoods to make sure they're good. It's not difficult to check the value of a property. It's not difficult to buy a tax lien certificate and the rate of return is guaranteed and the property is secured. Well, Ted, it's been a good educational discussion on tax lien investing versus other real estate investment strategies. What do you want the key takeaway to be for all the viewers? Well, I want the key takeaway to always be fix and flip has lots of risks. The big takeaway with tax lien certificates is online, there's up to a million certificates available just in Florida every year, all right? But once the tax lien certificate investor understands to look at the neighborhood and look at the property, they've taken the risk and they've dropped it way lower than any other investment. So there's thousands of certificates nationwide, plus you gave your money to the government, now you're gonna get checks back from the government. So risk takers, they're, un they're really uneducated investors. They really get hurt if they don't do what I call due diligence. In other words, they don't look at the property, they don't look at the neighborhood. What if you buy a property you haven't looked at and it's burned down or it's contaminated with toxic waste? You're gonna invest your money and guess what's gonna happen? The county is not gonna give you your money back. Fix and flip has lots of risk. They have risk in fixing it up, they have risk in bad neighborhoods, they have risk in the tenant that's in there. This has a risk of making sure that you look at the property and you know the condition of it. Hey, if you're watching this video and you have a question for Ted, leave it in the comments uh, section below. He will get to it. You will get an answer. Please give a thumbs up. Maybe even subscribe to Ted's channel. And by the way, if you want a sense of how many auctions are out there and where they're happening, well, Ted can help you get a good sense of that too. How can you help the folks, Ted? Well, people can go right below me and you can go and you can find out there's over 3,000 auctions available of tax lien certificates. And you can find all of those just by using your, your mouse, you can just take your mouse and move that cursor around and that will tell you how many auctions are gonna take place in that state and how many properties are gonna be sold at that auction. So go there now, right below me. Right there in the description, click on it, take Ted up on the offer. And thanks for watching.